Welcome knights, ladies and lords. I'm Pixelated Apollo, and I am collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a series of tutorial videos about Crusader Kings 3. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to wage war. Wars are won by defeating enemy armies in battles, capturing the war goal, occupying the enemy's capital, and or imprisoning the enemy ruler or their heirs. Doing so will increase your war score. War score is a measure of which side is winning the war from negative 100 to 100. If your war score is 100, you will be able to enforce a peace treaty onto your enemy. But wars cannot be randomly declared. You must have a casus belli, which is Latin that translates to cause for war. If your ruler has a claim on a title owned by someone else, it gives your ruler a legal right to own it and provides a casus belli to conquer it through war. If your ruler has no claims to nearby counties, you can send your religious counselor to fabricate a claim for cost of gold, and in return, it will give you a casus belli for that specific county. So when your ruler has a real claim or even a fabricated claim, it's important to pay attention to the war goal. The war goal is usually the casus belli target or county. If you control this target, you will get a war score boost that ticks up the longer you hold it. During war, winning pitch battles can be great, but winning siege battles can be even better, especially when it's the enemy's capital. Sieges happen when an army surrounds a fortified holding. Once your army lays siege, you will see the siege progress HUD. Siege progress indicates how close a siege is being completed and how long the siege is expected to last. Once the progress is full, the holding will be occupied. It is also important to make sure that the army attacking the enemy holding outnumbers the garrison. As I mentioned before, capturing enemy lords, rulers, and heirs will greatly speed up the war score in your favor but at times you will capture a minor lord which can give you a few options. You can keep your prisoner locked up and prevent him from joining the ruler's army again, or you could ransom the lord and in return get some gold. It will also improve your relation with the enemy ruler, which may be fruitful if that ruler becomes your vassal after the war. If gold is not a concern, you can also let the prisoner go for free but in return, you get a hook. Hooks can be used to force through many interactions like marriage proposals and feudal contract changes. Depending on your ruler's faith, you can join religious wars like crusades or jihads. When a crusader jihad is declared, you will have an option to ask to join. These wars are usually over a specific target that your army can help take. By accomplishing the crusade or jihad, you can potentially gain a lot of wealth and piety. Another important aspect to war are your allies. Allies can be formed through marriages. Once you are committed into a war, you can call your allies for aid, but it will cost you prestige. Also, be prepared for your allies to call you for aid in their wars as well. A great way to make some gold is through raiding. Only some rulers are allowed to raid, like the tribal rulers. Armies can be raised as raiders from rally points. You can then send the raiders into enemy holdings and pillage them for gold. The gold that the armies gather will be stored with them and will only be added to your treasury when they arrive home. So that about wraps up the basics of waging war in Crusader Kings 3. I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial video and also look out for my next tutorial video about battles. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.